Hello and welcome to the Squishy Pitch, where we pitch an idea for a new video game. This week's pitch, Two Point Theme Arkham Asylum. Let me pitch you how I imagine the game will be. Imagine, if you will, a construction and management simulator game. You have probably imagined Theme Hospital, Two Point Campus, Evil Genius, Planet Coaster or Prison Architect. Or maybe you thought of another great game in the genre. But you know the one thing all of those games are missing? Batman. Let me help you imagine a world where this is real. You play as the new warden of Arkham Asylum, and it is your job to design and build the facility, and it's your job to make it a success. You start out with a basic wing for low-level Gotham criminals, but as the asylum grows, the requirements change and you need to expand to meet the demands of the GCPD. Don't forget there's also a masked vigilante out there who needs somewhere to put the criminals he catches. You're in charge of hiring staff too. Guards, janitors, cafeteria staff, medical staff. Maybe one of them is a Dr. Harley Quinzel or a Jonathan Crane. You get the idea. How do you manage them? What if they turn criminal too? Maybe have run-ins with the district's attorney, Harvey Dent. As the facility continues to grow and grow, the bigger the rogues' gallery of villains becomes. You must contend with riots and prison breaks. Maybe Batman has to come in to sort it out, which looks great for him, but that doesn't look good for you if you can't keep your facility in check. The final challenge is, what sort of warden are you going to be? Will you be good and honest and do what you can to help the inmates? Will you be bad and ruthless, taking bribes and letting things slide if it means a little bit more money for you, or just make things easier? If you've played any of the games I've already mentioned, you'll have a fair idea of how the game will work. You start with a plot of land and you build out an Arkham Asylum with the money you have, and you need to hit certain milestones to progress. Taking into account how I pitched the game, I don't think you'll just have a yearly performance review. It would be something like a Gotham City approval rating. How safe do the citizens of Gotham City feel? How well do the local politicians think you are doing? What do Jim Gordon and the GCPD think about what you're doing? You must try and balance these expectations. Maybe that doesn't work out well, or maybe pleasing the GCPD is not lucrative enough for you. And this is where the bribery could come in. You could divert some of the asylum's funds to buy positive press to appear to be doing better than you are, an alternate, less ethical route to success. But everything comes at a cost, and that choice could be dangerous if later someone you bribed from the press comes looking to interview the Joker. The Batman license opens the game to become as much a moral balancing act as a financial one. What is the tipping point where your intentions to be a hero trip you into the world of being a villain? By populating the game with recognisable villains, with low-level ones in the early levels, and then building to the big star characters as the asylum grows, the game gets harder as a character like the Joker brings an unpredictable anarchy to the facility. As the facility grows, it may become necessary to split the building into particular gang areas. One wing is Penguin's goons, another for the Riddler, unlocking new cosmetics to redecorate areas around the theme of a particular character. And what of those visuals? With over 80 years of interpretations, there are countless routes the game could go. Despite the working title I gave the game, I would probably steer clear of a bright and silly look like the two-point games. And I would also distance the game from the style of the Rocksteady Arkham games. A strong and distinct comic style would work. Nothing too real, but nothing too wacky. There are plenty of management simulator games out there, and a bunch of ones based in a prison but there are almost none that are licensed games, and not with the recognition of the Batman property. It's honestly a no-brainer as to why this would work. What would it actually be called? Definitely not two-point theme Arkham Asylum. That's too much of a mouthful. But equally, something like Arkham Asylum Simulator seems too basic. I guess that would be up to WB Games to decide. We hope you've enjoyed this pitch. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would also like to thank friend of the channel, Abby, who came up with this game idea with me. She shares equal credit for it. Thank you, Abby. 
Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.